from England. Jolly good lads. Well, check this out. I'm going to try and fly through this really quick. Okay, Speak, okay. As long as we're talking about music. It seems to be like a music show it's turned into. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, when I was at the Consumer Electronics Show, I, I uh, uh, there, there's a, a company that, uh, when I think of audio components and stereo and really good sound, I think of this company called Audio Research. And uh, I went into their suite at the Venetian on the, was it? I forget what floor it was. 20, 20, there's two floors. 25th 30th floor. and 31st floor, maybe? Mm. Anyway, uh, and I went in, and I saw someone working there, and I went up to him, and I said, hey, I just want to say hi. I'm your, I'm your neighbor. I actually live a mile and a half from your manufacturing place. He goes, really? He said, you know what? He said, he said come on by for a tour. Come on by. We, we don't, just so you know, we don't do yeah. tours. We don't do tours. They'll but, give one to you. But your neighbor, you know what? Come on by. So, David, over at Audio Research, I can't thank you enough. Stewie, mm. let's take a few, few, a look at a few pictures. Definitely. Of, of this. If, let's see if this works. I, I, I think, uh, well, well, it should work, but let's, uh, let's see if it works. Yeah. There we go, right? Okay. There so, we go. Yeah, yeah man, so. I wonder if I can. Can I? Maybe I can move that like move that, that and then can we just look move at that? that? Look at that, kids. And then we can go like that. And, and then everybody. we can go like that. Wow. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> audio research. research. Now, yeah. audio research, they are, uh, they are known around the world as one of the best quality, best sounding. Uh, and I'll show you the listening room coming up here. Yeah, I have pictures of the Auto listening room. Uh, there, there, me. So this particular model is an integrated amplifier. And first off, they manufacture all, all the audio components except for their CD player transport. Uh, they, they, they all have tubes in it. A lot of people think tubes sound really, really good. And I'll show you a tube with it, what it looks like sure. here in just a second. But matter of fact, uh, uh, um. Like the if you, we see these holes right here, this is where the tubes go in. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so this particular one is their entry model of integrated. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Look at that. Hello. This is their integrated tube amplifier. Uh, this is their beginning model. Their low. Their their, their least expensive product, uh, and it is eight thousand five hundred dollars. Oh boy. And oh. Boy, hey, look at that. You can whoa. zoom in on them. Oh, Hi. yeah. Okay, hold on. Get that back. Okay, so check this out. So when you're going to... Look at that. When they make... So, so they have people at uh, making soldering these circuit boards, and it's kind of like a puzzle. So mm -hmm. all these circuit boards that you're looking at, um, if depending on what model they're making, these are like completed units that you can use for reference when you're making a new one. So you can look right. at this one and go, oh, yeah, let's see, uh, this piece goes over here. I want that one here. on the right. All right. And look, they got a whole bunch of uh, just a, a bunch of different circuit boards that they manufacture. Uh, so And then they have a parts the list. And a parts list. So depending on what they're making, and then so they have to go pick out two, of, two, two capacitors and three whatever triodes yeah. and... Uh, you know, there's some parts yeah. right there that, uh, depending on, you know, it, it's kind of like a shopping list. I'm going to make this, and here's all the parts I need. I'm going to go pick them out. And so these are some bins with some of the parts. And that's how they put it together. And it. it almost looks like a legal, uh, Lego uh, set. Yeah, so this is, this is a, a circuit board. Yeah. Uh, so that's the completed one that they can use for reference. And you can Look see again. that's where the... Uh, this, these are I'll show now I'll show you coming up, but these right here these are where the tubes go in, and uh, it looks oh. like it would take them weeks to put this whole thing oh, together. Why do I keep doing that? Wrong one. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so um, you would think, but no. Well, I mean, well, put it this way: it is they are not everything's done by hand, Stu. Yeah. Okay. Still, yeah. They these guys to. are soldering, and there's not that. It's not a huge company. Mm. Uh, but, but look at the because, time because that they, they put be, in because here. they put out a very limited number of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they, this is some of their speaker wire that and some capacitors there. Okay. Um, uh, so this is a, a, a CD transport. I, it's funny because I knew about this. You know, he said, "Yeah, you know, we we mod we did a modification on on this." This is and I said, "Oh, that's a Philips uh, transport." He goes, "Yeah, it is." And what they did for their CD player is they put some extra. Um, Extra, some springs and some some dampening material 
So the, so the CD will not skip and it will play perfectly. So they took kind of something existing. That's the only thing that they took existing uh, and modified. Mm. Um, the rest of the stuff, why did, why did I do that? I keep hitting the wrong one. All right, and, okay. uh, but that's that. Okay, uh, here's another, another unit right here. Uh, this, a beautiful unit. This is something else. I forget, much, yeah. I, for, I forget how much, I forget. the meters. Yeah, yeah I forget and how much this, this one costs. I think it, I don't want to misquote. I think it's a. Is it around? Should we take a stab around, at it? And I think it's somewhere um, around twenty five thousand dollars. Okay, well, so, I was going to go a little like lower. That. Okay, now here's a face plate that goes on the front. When I say into, there's one guy just sitting there with some cleaning cloths, like you can, uh, uh, some some cleaning cloths right here. Yeah. Oops, oops, sorry, right here, right. I see him. And yep. he was cleaning each one off, very. He wasn't rushed. No one was rushing him. They want everything to go out perfectly. I've never, I've never seen a company that has such quality control, as mm. uh, as as this company does. It's um, it's something else. It's something else. Uh, so that's that's Good the place. front. That's the front of something. Uh, oh yeah, here's the big uh, boy. Well, here we can look that up. What is that? Is that the? Oh, it says Auto Research Minneapolis, no, Minnesota. Yeah, what is that? G uh, High Definition. What number oh, is that? that number GS one five zero. Audio. Well, I don't want to misquote. Search to GS what? GS one five zero. It looks like. Okay, so uh, Let's see what comes up. Well, I'll tell you what I can. I can tell you. Whoop, okay. I'll tell you what the price is anyway. Um, so the price for this particular amplifier is, ladies and gentlemen, the price for this is, I, uh, can you read it, Stu? I can't read it. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. I'm going to put my $1 glasses on. Here it is, here it is on. right here. It's $25,000. This, yep. this, one, this one is 25000 You 20, got it, yeah, $25,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one right here, mm -hmm. it's $25,000. Um, so if you want a killer stereo, this is it. <laughs> KT 150. It still has some, uh, you can see it's got some, uh, tape on the side. It's still in, uh, they, they, they're, they're still they're, putting it. Yeah. Together, they're still putting really. it together. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So it won't fall apart. Isn't that something? Uh, Good. now, now this is a, uh, I, I guess what's the best word for it? She's the tube lady. Okay. <laughs> uh, when you TL, have these electronic, tube. these tubes, there's only I think there's only two companies in the uh, in the world left making tubes. There's one uh, the old Russian company. Uh, there's a uh, factory in Russia that does reissue tongue sole and mullard tubes. Mm. Now before you use the tubes, a lot of people say a brand new tube right out of the box doesn't sound so good. So they do what's called a burn in, and they take all the tubes before they're put into any of the amplifiers. And they power them up, and they let them run for a couple of days. Nice. And she's monitoring all the tubes. And uh, here's a closer look of, of the bottom of the tubes, it, you know, the tubes. And they burn them in. Okay. Hmm. And there they are upright. Uh, and this is so. What you're looking at here, all this does is it powers the tubes, and they leave them on for a couple of days. Then they remove the tubes to put them in the amplifiers. Hmm. So. Uh, I love tubes. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, there is a certain sound to those old There's radios a, with tubes. And, yeah, and and well, see now it's not just old. These guys, man, these this company is the largest manufacturer of tube amplifiers in the world. That's good. So, that's oops, did I go too far? There's a look uh, at that. Look at that. I like the tube the so much. Supply. I took more pictures. <laughs> look at that. Here's a close up of tubes. Here we you. go. There's a uh, test tubes. Okay, yeah. so so the, so the yeah the tubes get very hot. Oh yeah, you gotta use mittens. Yeah, for the them. tubes get very hot. So the yeah. tube lady there, she she uses the, I and I said, I'm surprised you don't have the of glove. Oven Remember mitt? that the of glove. The of glove. But she uses that yeah. to take the tubes off because because when oh, you turn yeah, them yeah. off, they're they're they get very hot. Yeah, never touch them when they're hot. That that wouldn't feel good. Here's another giant amplifier of theirs. It is so heavy that they. Uh, have it on a, a hoist that usually is normally used to ho um, to hoist car engines, mm. and I forget how much this this is uh, very expensive, but yeah, that's lots of pounds. Well, right there. it is very. Look at that. And look at the tubes again. And everyone, yeah. they're, they're, those are tongue soles, and it, I don't know if you can see it or not. These are reissued tongue soles right here, and it says "Made in Russia" right on the tube there. 
Uh, yeah, I see it. It's it's um, but that's that's uh, there. This is still in you know in the manufacturing process. I'm in the plant. This is not a finished, completed thing. But uh, that is that is uh, some good looking stuff. Now, do you see the plastic on the certain parts of this? Oh yeah. So yeah. Um, right here and right here, see that. Mm -hmm. So because this is still in the manufacturing process, what they they have to put these plastic covers on because there's so much high electrical current on it. If you're working on it and you were to touch one of those areas, I it, wouldn't. You 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 could get electrocuted. Yeah, don't do that. So they put these s covers on as a safety measure mm -hmm. to uh, make sure that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so absolutely. Be safe than sorry. Oh, if you, want oh, to be, you, yeah. you don't want to get zapped. No, no, All not right. fun. There's that GS-150 <laughs> again, I think, uh, just kind of another look uh, uh, of it. Uh, so... Uh, everything, goes through, so everything goes through... Everything goes through a... Everybody's got to put their initials on when they're done with something. Okay? So, and... Which is really, really wild and interesting. Before there is one guy there, and oh, let me see if I can't put. Well, hold on. I'll have to, I'll, I'm going to take the Kid Friday logo off for a second. There is one guy there, and his job is. Oh, you know what? It still doesn't fit on there. All right. Well, Not uh, yeah, yeah. I'll just put it back. Anyway, it doesn't. There's one guy whose job is to. I'll come back to us for a second. Okay. Um, his job, which is pretty amazing. His job is to listen to every piece of equipment and certify before it goes out. Nice. And this guy, I met him. He he his he listens to everything. And if something doesn't sound exactly the way it should, it goes onto a test bench like you're looking at, well, I should say like you're looking at right now. And they will, you know, and they will listen to it. And it's and and uh, they told me they said you know this guy can hear everything and he knows like a certain thing should be soldered a little bit higher because mm. it because of the heat underneath it how it, how it goes away and Good ears. Uh, and and they they had a part from a manufacturer uh, one piece that they brought in and they were bringing it in all of a sudden this this guy kept rejecting this equipment. Reject. No, mm. something's not right. Something's not right. <laughs> they found so, out that this company making this little tiny little part um, changed places where they were making it. And although it looks exactly the same, it sounded d different. Could tell. There's no Change way. I, it. There's no way I could tell. There's no way you. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any. Way, well, I don't want to say by, but before anything goes out, it has to be listened by this one person. Hmm. I wonder if the they guy have with the good ears. I wonder if they have his so ears bad. insured. Huh? What? Here's another amplifier. Um, uh, just really, really cool stuff. Yeah, so this is oh, yeah, th this is this is in their listening room, and I listened to this amp, and I got the I got the sweet spot in there. Um, this is their listening Look room. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold That's on. What am I doing? We're looking at it, but the, but no one else is. <laughs> oh oh nice. no! Put that up. Put that hold on. on. There you go. <laughs> Did we? Okay. Yeah. So uh, pull back uh, up. Pull uh, back uh, up. Uh, okay. We second. All right, so uh, there, here's another another one of their amplifiers they manufacture. This is in their listening room, and yeah. this is their listening room. That's their living room. Now the the speakers that you see right there, those I see those. those speakers, uh, they're taller than us. Oh yeah. Uh, now not that I'm trying to make a game, but any guess how much those speakers cost? Hmm. Not a million, but getting uh, there. One hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, we're getting there. You could buy a nice nice house yeah. for. Oh yeah, hundred fifty, <laughs> hundred fifty thousand dollars speakers. 000. We have the twenty five thousand dollar amplifier mm. right there, so we're up to one hundred seventy five thousand, and that doesn't in include. We still need source components. We still need something to play it from. So there's one hundred seventy five thousand wow. dollars. Wow, great listening room, really cool. Who needs a house? Get if the you speakers. And and <laughs> exactly right. I know. Yeah. I, I know. Uh, that have per an apartment. You personally, know. that's my feeling. I'm just yeah. saying. Right? Uh, and then, uh, if you look right here, so there's the turntable yeah. that they use. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I, I believe, this that's is a, one, one, of, one of their preamps uh, and, and a couple of their other components. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is the this right here is yeah. a, is a CD player. The CD loads from the top. So right, you it, it actually loads from the top. It's a top. Yeah, loading. you don't see those too often. Yeah, it's a top loading CD oh, player, uh, and then some of their other uh, source components, mm -hmm. uh, but. There's that. Uh, but, oh, man. 
But look at that high high tech equipment. That all looks old fashioned, but that's so, all new. It's all so retro. so. Audio Research, this company, um, they have a museum, and their museum is uh, a small room somewhere in there, and they just put some of their stuff on the shelves, which is cool. I like that. They've been manufacturing. I think they've been around for. 50, 40 years, 50 years, mm. something like that. Um, something, uh, there's a picture I think you'll really like coming up here. This, so this is this is the room that has some of their older models, and they keep it in there, right? And, and also, uh, it, and these components go, people who own stuff that are, you know, 40 years old, it's still running. And they send them back in for service. They have a whole service department, I'll show you. Uh, so this is some of their older stuff. This is a... Um, this is for a recording studio. They actually manufactured a board for a recording studio. Mm. So it kind of looks like a radio board too, right? Yeah, it does an, an old radio board that people yeah. used to use in the 1960s, early 70s. So. Or, or, uh, or 80s at the radio station radio I worked station. at. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually, I did work at one in the 1990s. I had <laughs> an old board like that. And they said it was top of the line, mm -hmm. 1968. I'm like, I believe you. In 1968, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Some of that stuff sounds, sounds awesome, though. Uh, uh, so this is the model that kind of put them on the map, this particular uh, audio research model. Uh, this, this is the one that all of a sudden started to get reviewed by a bunch of people and kind of put them on the map there. Yeah. Uh, more tubes? That's, yeah, more tubes. Uh, they actually took – I couldn't get a picture of it, but there, there, because, but there are two, two of these things, monsters, oh, side yeah. by side. There's another one you can't even see. Uh, and then this is the newer model that is replacing those other two. So oh, okay. uh, they, they – they, Two and put them. They were they were they were mono blocks. Uh, I don't want to get into. I don't. I'm not, not going to get into how that heavy whole thing. that is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's technical. It looks heavy. It looks oh, heavy. Yeah. Uh, and there's uh, some more of their vintage stuff. Uh, but really, anyway, I don't yeah. fly this. Oh, uh, also, you can um, uh, you can custom order stuff. So you can custom order what color knobs you want, right? What color handles you want? What color buttons you want? And they will it's custom, all custom yeah, it. yeah, at, at, you know, through a dealer, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll custom make it. Uh, that is... Looks like a microwave. That is an integrated amplifier. <laughs> no, that's... You I know, know it's not, but... My, okay. my, I'm drooling. I'm drooling. Okay, I'll buy it. Oh, are birthday. you kidding me? I am drooling look, looking at whoa, this stuff. Uh, you know, I noticed that's on these inside. that there's some tube dampeners. And so you see the tubes, right? Yeah. Around the tubes, these, these things right here, right... They, a lot. Some people think that if you put these dampeners, these these kind of uh, rubberized things around the tubes, that the tubes sound better. Hmm. It's possible. It's possible. Might be. Yeah. It's possible. Uh, and let's. Uh, there's another one. Behemoth amplifier. Do, yeah. can, 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 you can't see that. Yeah, they're still in production. Mm -hmm. And this, this is more of their. Uh, oh, this, you know what this is? This is their inventory. So. Um, Unnamed. It's unnamed too. I'll take that one on the light, <laughs> the left. This is this. So this is what they have in stock. And so to tell you what kind of company they are, they 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 manufacture what they need and whatever. So if you look at it, you go, "Wow, you don't have much in inventory of this." But then you think, you look at it, you go, "Yeah, but that's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth right there that you're looking at." Definitely. You know that? <laughs> that is that is just, you know, it's crazy. They have a lot, but they make they yeah. make their money when they and do sell them. So if you so again, I, you know, I told you that they if you have an older one, an older model or whatever, and you want it serviced, you can send it in. And this is where they service this is the area where they service the older audio research products. Uh, you know, if you have an old old uh, amplifier or what preamplifier, whatever, you can send it in. And they will bring it up to manufacturer spec. They have they have a uh, they keep a supply of all of the old parts on hand, so you can they will bring you bring it back to like as new condition. And that's all right in town here, right? Yeah. Okay. It's a mile and a half from my house. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna be bringing some old equipment into them. Have them serviced. I've I got can't, a few laying. I, no, I, sitting around. <laughs> I don't think no. It's got to be their equipment. Oh, never mind. Okay. And. Uh, mm. It ain't cheap, my friend. Okay. Okay. I, I have a couple of recommendations if you want. But I know. Don't go there. You, no, you have no, to. No, no, no they, they only service their own products, so okay. you have to have an audio research. I didn't know uh, that product. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, here's some uh, completed uh, 
some are, are these completed yeah these so these are some completed parts so if you send your 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 uh you know your old amplifier in uh, they'll replace the boards or whatever and that's those are those are some and bring that's it back bring service, it back to yeah. new yeah Here are the there's boxes. some other box now these things are so heavy if you look at Caution, the box do not drop if yeah. you look if you look at the box it the box doesn't look like it would have anything in there that heavy but everything they have it has to ship on what's called a pallet uh, by a truck and a, and a forklift has to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. No, I'm, I'm serious. There's a, a yeah. there's a seventy five thousand dollars worth of speaker because there's two of them and they're, I told you they're one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. This yeah, is the listening room, true. and I took a picture right here. Uh, David put put some music on for me. I sat right in the middle. I took this picture while I was listening to some music in the listening room, and to me, this is like. The moment of all moments. Hmm. I can't tell you how. I don't know about you. I'm. A, I'm an. I'm not. I don't consider myself what's called an audiophile. I'm an enthusiast. But man, you know what, Stu? Hmm. I was just in heaven. Blown away. Ju- out blown away. This, blown yeah. away. Mm-hmm. It was just. It was something else. There's yeah. the, another look. Look at that. The amplifiers on there in the is. middle. You got the speaker I mean, in this listening room. And, and just so you know, all the stuff on the walls there that helps with the sound. Dampers. Uh, is yeah. Exactly. What yeah. Called. Yeah. That and man, oh, and there's a motorcycle. It's motorcycle. Not, it's not mine, but anyway. Not mine either. Uh, there's there's <laughs> a, there's the listening room. Yeah. All right. So anyway, enough. Anyway, thank you, uh, David. At Audio research for giving me a personal two hour tour of your facility. I can't thank you enough. And sorry for the delay to you get this on Kid Friday because I told him I was going to. I'm going to. Do you mind if I yeah, take some pictures? Sure. It's, it's kind of interesting because. This was kind of a fun most tour people, to go through. Well, from, yeah, you know, especially it's not like it's not yeah. open to the public. It, and yeah. you, they don't give tours, mm-hmm. you know? And. Uh, I'm just love hi fi. I love all that stuff so much. All right. So mm-hmm. thanks again. Uh Stewie, you have yeah. a you have a podcast and uh, I do? Can, no, I do. And and first off, tell us what you do. Okay. 